Russia just does it better, baby. What's up, guys, and welcome back to SnowRunner. Today, we are going to be checking out our first Russian scout vehicle. This is the Yar 87, and uh, man, oh man, this is going to be fun. So $31,500, honestly not that bad. B power to weight, B plus durability, S fuel consumption with 110 capacity, but uh, man, this thing is going to be a beast. We've got switchable all-wheel drive, diff lock is always on, and we've got six tires to slang some mud. We are going to be getting through it today. I'm excited for this. Let's check out our customization here. Looks like for an engine, we don't have the upgrade yet. Gearbox, ooh, we can get the SnowRunner gearbox, which is gonna give us that extra low range, I like that. Suspension's gonna stay stock, looks like tires. Currently, we've got poor on-road, excellent for off-road and mud. We could go with chained tires, but we're not gonna need these. We're, we're not going where there's ice and snow, so we're, we're gonna be okay. Uh, okay, for now, we're gonna leave the stock ones on there. Winch, definitely autonomous. This is essentially an essential upgrade. Like, you need it on every vehicle you can get roll over, we're gonna be able to, to, to write ourselves. Frame add-ons, we're gonna be able to do the roof rack. Dude, we can't even do this on our con yet, on Apollo. We have it on the H2, so useful. Extra repair parts and fuel, be able to go farther and deeper and harder, and then we've got the tall front-facing snorkel here to give us that extra range when going through water. Visuals, let's see what we've got going on. We could have the, uh, the beacons up there. We can also have the twin horn. What do you guys think? I mean, what are we, what are we currently... I guess we can't do the beacons because that's going to take our, our roof rack off. The, the, the horn doesn't really make sense either, so we're going we're gonna to leave that off. Stock rear bumper, not going to be able to do much. Oh, actually, we could do the parking lights up here. Those look pretty cool. Down for that. Front bumper, we're going to be able to do the hinged bumper. This is stock. This is what it's going to look like. I'm down for it. That looks pretty nice. And then finally, rims we are going to have to leave as is. As for colors, you guys know I like the two tones. We've got the red and black. We've got the blue on blue. We've got the green on white, the yellow on black, or the tan. Ooh, dude, I don't know. I also kind of like the, I feel like the all black is, is pretty slick. I'm not gonna lie. Let me see some of the other colors here. I mean, even like an orange or a brown or a tan looks pretty nice. This thing looks pretty, pretty military-esque. Um, hmm. I'm kind of tempted to go all black. All white looks pretty interesting as well, and I also kind of like this tan look. Is this the same orange and black? Hold on, let me let me see our storage here. It's not the same orange and black, but it's the, the Russian variant. I'm down for it. It's kind of like a, a sunshiny orange, like a, a little bit more yellow than orange, but uh, we, we can roll with it. I'm, I'm down for that. So we're going to go ahead and pull this thing out. I've already got our, uh, our Azov set up. Let's go ahead and pull this thing forward. Oh my goodness, dude, this is a monster. We're going to change trucks, hop in the Azov. Let's get a winch on this bad boy, and we are going to be off. So today we are going to be exploring the second area of Russia. Uncharted territories, never been there before, not really sure what to expect, but we are going to be headed to the quarry. So let me go ahead and pull up our map here. We've got a couple of different, uh, couple of different gateways. There's one directly opposite us, or there's one over here. So I'm thinking we probably go out here, let's bang a left. We're going to go through here. We could probably just follow the main road all the way around, hit the fuel station, refuel back up and then go straight up the main road to the gateway. We've got the, the maintenance add-on, so we're gonna have extra fuel for it. We're gonna have extra, you know, repair parts, stuff like that. So we're gonna be able to, to kind of, hopefully be able to completely uncover the quarry before having to return back to base. And uh, I don't know, we're gonna see what, what this uncharted territory brings to us. We're gonna try to achieve all the lookout points grab all of the vehicles that we can, get all the upgrades we can, and uh, just kind of get a feel for it. We've got the quarry here, and then uh, Zimnogorsk is the last part of Russia, so maybe kind of uncover what we need to do to be able to get there. I don't know if we're going to have to, you know, fix up any any tunnels or build any bridges or anything, but that's our goal today is to find out. All right, so far so good. Looks like we made it through all the, uh, all the business back there. Fairly easy little trek. Got a little bit, a uh, little bit muddy there. Not too long ago, but uh, we made it to our fuel station, so we're going to go ahead and fuel everything up and uh, make sure that we are at max. I mean, I, I don't I don't think fuel is going to be that big of a deal, but we uh, we may as well. So let's go ahead and uh, change trucks. We'll hop back here, go ahead and uh, use the fuel station, 10 liters of fuel, change on back. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm excited. This is going to be an interesting new vehicle. You know, we... We started off with the con in this game. It was it was kind of like a DLC pre-order bonus type vehicle, and I'm gonna be honest, it's still our best scout by far. 
I, this thing might take the cake today. We'll see what happens. We've been trying to make it work with the Hummer, and uh, I, I like the Hummer. I think the Hummer looks cool. We currently have the advantage with the Hummer of being able to have a roof rack and, and stuff in the back. So we have a bunch of spare parts and extra fuel and stuff, which is nice. But in terms of capability and like off-road ruggedness and stuff like that, like it, nothing nothing beats our Con or our Jeep or, or Apollo or whatever you want to call it. So I'm kind of hoping we find uh, we find a, a newfound love with this guy here. I mean, those those six wheels are, are speaking to me, man. This thing looks like a beast. Those big old mud tires and stuff. I've got a feeling she's gonna gonna be able to put in put in work. But uh, also, just kind of a little sneak peek. A couple episodes down the line. We are definitely going to be checking out the uh, the, the Tuz, whatever. It's like a, a basically a tank. It's like a military vehicle. And uh, we could unlock that. We could find that in Zimnogorsk, which is the, the final final Russian map. So we're not going to get to that today. But uh, I would say, you know, two to three episodes down the line, I think that thing is uh, is going to take the cake for uh, for our best, our best scout. But for the time being... Might be able to put in some work with this guy. So here we go. We made it to our tunnel. Let's go ahead and travel to the quarry. I'm not really sure what to expect here. It's it's pretty big. We've got six towers here and uh, a lot of land to explore. I'm pretty sure. Let me take a look at our, our global map. There's no garage out here. I'm hoping we're going to have a gas station. I mean, to be honest, we have quite a bit of fuel. So even if we don't have a gas station, we're going to be okay. I'm just going to kind of move the, uh, I'm going to move our, our Azov forward here as far as we can, at least on main roads. And then we can knock out the first two, uh, the first two towers, figure out where the next plane of attack, oh, there's a gas station right there. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be good. But yeah, I'm, I'm thinking we move this up, get it like around here, take the, the, the Yar out, hit these two, figure out the direction we want to go, come back, grab the Azov tow it and just kind of kind of work as a team tag team this baby we are gonna gonna straight up dp this this, <laughs> this new map oh man don't 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 look that up if you don't know what it is okay <laughs> okay Trav, calm down there calm down there chief we're, we're gonna keep this pc and uh we are going to just kind of check out what this this map has to offer See a couple of road signs there. Nothing really too exciting, though. This is an interesting map. I mean, it seems pretty low-key so far. There's a watchtower over there. You guys think we can just go right through this muck? I bet we can. At least with the Yar. I'm going to put old girl on the other side of this road over here. We're going to de detach, grab the Yar, and, and see see what we can what we can do with her and she is free it's time to see what old girl can do here i'm pretty excited we're about to find out man look at that we've got like a bench in there you could you could fit the whole squad in there bro that's awesome have like a little a little little party in there but yeah here we go so diff lock is oh straight down into the water okay <laughs> well that wasn't that wasn't the plan. I'm, I'm gonna go back this way. I think we've got a, a better entry over here. Can you imagine if we would have gotten that thing stuck right off the bat like that? I would have been so upset. Let's go ahead and throw our all-wheel drive on and, and kind of see what this thing can do. I've got a feeling this thing's gonna have Azov, Azov vibes. You know what I mean? Like, it's not gonna be the fastest scout in the game. It's not gonna be the most nimble, but it's just gonna be like the 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 little engine that could. It's just going to be able to get through anything and everything that you throw at it, low and slow, just kind of do its thing. And that's uh, that's a good thing, dude. Look at all of the, look at our suspension, all these wheels just bouncing all over the place. Let me see what the inside looks like. Dude, this thing is sick. All right. Let's not run into the tree here, Trev. I'm trying to, do we have to go into low? Ah, low is the key. Look at that. Handled that with no problem, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right, back into auto here. And uh, look at that. Your boy just scaled a mountain like it was nothing. There we go. First tower out of six. We've got some sort of a, a church. There's something over here. Kind of a cool, uh, cool little view. So we've got a lumber mill over here. Uh, we've got some contracts up in front of us clearing the way. Looks like there's going to be some sort of a rock slide. That might be a problem, but we might also be able to get around it. This is the quarry that this place is named after. It looks like we might want to go through this way. Let's let's cop this. We'll come back, and then we can take our, our big truck around through here, through the lumber mill, and get over here to get these next two is going to be the plan. So I'm, I'm thinking we, we come around to here. 
We bank a right. What's our best bet to get up there? Probably to go left. Looks like we've got some trails. We might be able to just go up ourselves. Hmm. We'll figure it out. All right, let's get it. Here we go, going off on our own. I will say the, the fuel economy of this thing does scare me a little bit. You guys can see, I mean, we're, we're already, it's a small tank at 110 liters. We're already burning through quite a bit, just going up that tiny hill. Like that, that is definitely concerning. But as long as we've got big boy Azov around and some gas stations and stuff, it's understandable. Every pro's gotta have a trade-off. It's, you're not gonna get all that power, all that capability for free, if you uh, if you know what I mean. So here we go. We want to bank a bank a left here. Yeah, we want to bank a left. Dude, this thing is. Uh, we just don't even need to look at the roads. I don't know why we're looking at the roads. So up up here is gonna be our next objective. The tower is gonna be up to our right. I'm just I'm I'm gonna try I'm gonna try rolling right through this stuff, bro. I'm I'm feeling pretty confident. Look at this, dude. This is amazing. All right, might want to put this thing in low, maybe low high. Let's see what we can do. Woo -wee. Just climbing this bad boy. Might need a low or even a low low. Come on, let's go. Back up at a low high, get us a little bit more speed. Again, we are burning off quite a bit of fuel, but that's okay. I'm thinking, oof. Oof, that's the tower right there. I think if we go, yeah, if we go around to the right, there's going to be a much easier section. We'll probably put, oh, 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 oh. We're good. We're going to be fine. We can pull ourselves back up, I hope. Oh, shoot. There it is, baby. Not exactly the, the best situation, but we're going to try to make our way out of it. We're good to go. Uh-huh. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Never, never doubt it. We are, I was going to say two-wheeling it, but we're three-wheeling it because there's three wheels on one side. That's crazy. We just break through this. Oh, yeah. All day. We got, we got service parts if we need them. <laughs> this thing is ridiculous. If this is this good, I can't even imagine what, I think it's an eight-wheeled, like, armored vehicle. It, it's, it's going to be crazy. Ooh, we've got an upgrade over here, so I'm going to put a marker on that. We're definitely going to go grab that. We've got an off-roader stuck. We've got a gateway to Zimnogorsk over there. Um, hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking we grab this upgrade part and let's let's stick with our plan. We're gonna go back to our truck. So here we go. Got to get down there. Honestly, I'm tempted to just send it off the rocks here. Like I, I don't know that we can really hurt this thing. Beautiful, beautiful, dude. We got an autonomous winch. We can we could just winch ourselves right back up. Let me hear that horn again. Pretty nice sounding horn. That was the most effective thing that we've ever done there. The Tuz 166. Oh, that's is that might be that might be the vehicle we're talking about. I'm not sure, but um, now we're gonna want to we're gonna want to make our way down the mountain. Let's get to here, and then we're gonna go back to uh, back to old Betsy back there. All right, sounds good to me. Just make our way through the forest. <laughs> this thing is great. This, this is just, this is the perfect harmony of man and machine. No tree, no gully, no rock face is going to get in my way here. I am, I am just going to drive through literally everything and not even think about it twice. We're even pretty slow, so like on-road driving isn't bad. The problem is the, the, the con or the jeep gets going pretty quickly and then you start fishtailing and then you, you kind of lose it and you end up flipping and stuff like that. This thing, it's its no issue. Oh, shoot. This is a bigger deal than I thought, but I think we should be able to just just go right through it. <laughs> Get out of my face, bro. I'll take that, that objective so we can have it ready for later. Do that. This this is outrageous. Oh, hey, I'm back. What's up, Azov? You aren't the only, uh, you aren't the only player in town. All right, so we're going to stop the engine. We're going to uh, to change over to our Azov. We're gonna, gonna want to get this guy turned around. We're gonna get uh, get our new tank back on the tow. I really don't want to get the Azov stuck, dude. There's no good place to turn around here. I just remembered we have that big ditch. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get this thing back on the uh, back on the tow, and we're gonna head around to the next part of the map. Let's not get stuck here. Although two vehicles, we get stuck. We can definitely pull one out with the other. 
Gives us a little bit of extra confidence. 90 point turn has been completed. I love how they both have their, their work lights on too. Like the, the flash, oh shoot, we gotta pay attention to where we're going, Trev. But like the, the slow flashing work lights, you know what I mean? Like these, these guys are just, they're gangsters, bro. They just, they get the job done. Low and slow, slow and steady. Just a couple of, couple of tortoises moving through life. No obstacles gonna get in their way. Make our way up over this hill here. Ooh. Got a bit of a downhill section. Hold on to your caps. We're gonna be going fast, boys. Got a nice little railway station over here. Looks like this is gonna be the sign for the, uh, the lumber mill. This seems like a pretty low key area so far, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like every time I've, I've said that in the past, I've always kind of paid for it, but it, it's definitely like, ooh, that's nasty right there. It's definitely very rural. Like there's not a lot going on, but at the same time, I feel like we haven't run into any really, really big problems yet, which is nice. The, the ground seems pretty dry. It doesn't really seem like it was affected by the, the flood too much, so. Hopefully that's a good sign of things to come. Looks like this is where we can pick up our wood. We've got a trailer there we can pick up and sell eventually. Not gonna worry about that right now. We're just gonna keep on trucking, keep on moving, and we are gonna try to get, uh, I guess just get as far as we can. We're gonna try to pick up these next two, these next two towers. Ooh, look at this over here. We're starting to get a little bit swampy, eh? But we've got a log bridge. That's how they do it out here in Russia. We've seen a few of these. And they actually work pretty well, just, you know, lay over a bunch of trees and it it's pretty solid to be able to get through this uh through this no problem it's like that juts off to the left we're kind of getting away from this thing you guys think we should we should detach and just go for it i mean i'm i'm kind of seeing a trail if we go back to here and then hit this we could probably just kind of go straight up to it better to double back now than it will be later let's go ahead and release our parking brake Woo, that thing flew out of its shoes baby all right, so we are uh, we are officially at half a tank of gas. We do have the gas up top, but that's 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 nerve wracking, dude. My goodness, that is something we're gonna have to keep in mind. This is not a scout that you can take out on your own because you're gonna get you're gonna get lost and get yourself in trouble. Fuel economy is is not its strong suit. Where was this trail at? Just anywhere. Pretty much looks like where we're looking. This this isn't much of a trail, but I'm down for it. Let's hope for the best. Prepare for the worst. Throw our lights on and, and here we go. My goodness, dude. Okay. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it make it through this. Sometimes the tree branches are a bit too strong. Oh! Come on. I'll pull myself out with a winch if I have to. We're good to go. I'm trying to look for the path of least resistance dude the branches that pull you back they gotta be they gotta be fixed in this game man it's crazy there it is all right we made it Woo! watchtower completed what do you guys say should we just try going to the next one by ourselves kind of the same deal as last time let me throw the parking brake on looks like um it actually looks like there's an upgrade over here we should probably go grab this and then we could go to the road hook up to our vehicle and then go the rest of the way to the next one is is probably going to be our best bet so let's uh let's just set an objective uh probably probably going to want to go back the way we came so we're going to come back down through here and then we're going to go across go up through here down through here and hopefully we don't get stuck all right well here we go back through the brush dude look at all those lights lighten up your life son i can see my future in those high beams like this is a bit bit of an easier path right there. oh that that would wow trev oh we still have to go through these guys though oh look at that like a champ that's what i'm talking about so we're gonna come up on the the railroad here hopefully it's it's not an active one hopefully it's isn't gta where we're gonna have something come at us out of nowhere get through here gonna be able to get to this Hoping we can just kind of go left through here. You never really know with the tall grass like this. Like it could be dry ground like it is right now, or it could be super, super swampy, and you could 
get bogged down and get in trouble. There's plenty of trees for us to be able to use for recovery, though. And it doesn't even, uh... Oh, oh, nope, here we go. Now it's starting to get wet. I was gonna say, it doesn't even look like it's wet, but... This, this is where it gets interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing in low. Don't want to spin those tires. Don't want to mix up the, the mud too much. Let's just, uh... Let's get there slowly. You know what I mean? Be patient. Patience is key. Look at this thing, dude. So gnarly. Essentially a mini tank. And to think that there's an actual tank later on we're gonna be able to use too. Give me one of these trees over here. We're gonna make it. Come on, baby. All right, we got it. New upgrade for the Step 310E and the Zix 5368. Don't have either of those trucks yet, but once we get them, we are gonna be thankful we just did that. I'm thinking, uh... We might, we might want to continue through here and then meet back on the main road. If we could keep our feet dry, that's going to be in our, our best interest, that's for sure. I don't know that that's going to be possible. You're an owl. That's one thing this game needs is wildlife. Like, I understand that there's not traffic and stuff. That could be kind of cool. Could also be a lot more frustrating. But I feel like seeing some birds flying around or some bears or... Stuff like that could be kind of cool. Just to give, give it a little bit more life, but... All my life needs is some rubber and some mud, baby. And some rubber throwing that mud. I'm trying to make... I, I don't know if this is a good idea, Trev. I, it looked, on the map, it looked like maybe this is going to be a bit drier, and I thought it might be an easy way out, but it's, it's looking like that might not be the case. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Hang right here. Can you imagine being in this, dude, and just slowly crawling through? Like, no, no big deal. I'm not scared. I'm not, not worried about sinking this $50,000 piece of machinery that we invested money into. To be honest, I'm surprised this thing's only 50k. I feel like that's not a very realistic expectation. So we're gonna set this thing up here. If we set it up right, like, right, like so, we should be able to drive by with our other vehicle and just kind of pick it up on the way. So we're gonna stop our engine. We're gonna go ahead and hop back in the Azov. Let's get this thing started up, turn the lights on, and let's go, uh, let's go pick her up. She did her job, got a new upgrade part, and now we're gonna move on to our next tower. I'm thinking let's, uh, let's go ahead and let's, let's skip ahead to morning time. You guys know I like, I like putting in work of the day. This game's beautiful. I like to, uh, I like to be able to see it. Look at this, low key, you know, nice, hard packed dirt road, just kind of feeling great. Ooh, look at how, I thought that was gonna be dry ground right there, that was just nasty mud. Nasty dirt wet mud. Dirt, dirt, dirt wet mud, That you guys heard it here first. Go ahead and grab that guy on our way by, and look at that! Tuned up like a NASCAR pit stop, boy! Looking like a professional out here. Now we're gonna make our way to our next objective, which is gonna be straight up this mountain. Ooh, we. Oh man. I don't know how much farther our Azov is gonna be able to make it, bro. We're, we we don't. I, I'm not seeing any main roads going up this mountain, so we're just gonna take it till she can't go no more. We'll we'll refill up with the with the yar. Oh, that's a that's a stump. I don't want to watch out for that. We'll refill up the yar, and we might have to finish out the rest of the project. By ourselves, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll hope for the best. Azov hasn't uh, hasn't let us down yet. All right, we're not gonna be able to make that turn, so we're just gonna we're just gonna gonna cut the corner. What's a tree to me, bro? Global warming is a hoax. Just kidding. Sorry, tree. Gonna make our way up this mountain. I mean, we're gonna be able to get up the mountain with the Azov, I think. Where does this go? I don't really want to go up the rocks over there. Are we going to be able to go up this? Don't tip now, girl. You got this. Woo. We're good. Still got the yard behind us. Having to put in a little bit of work, but we're going to be fine. I'm hoping there's going to be some sort of a... Some sort of a, a route down the backside of this mountain to keep this thing going. 
No promises, though. Watch powers. Watchtower has been opened. Let's go ahead and launch the observation. Get a nice little cutscene. Look at that, dude. All right, throw our parking brake on. Oh, oh no, we're good. We can go out to here, bang a left, and we're going to be able to uh, to start heading that way. Looks like we've got an upgrade over there. Nothing behind us. All right, this this has been this has been pretty clean so far. Just keep on trucking, little buddies, dude. Look at that view. Are you kidding me? Can you actually go out? Yeah, you can go all the way out to that water. That's kind of where we're headed next. We got a couple of towers left. I think I might see... I see one of them right there off the distance, just to the right of the tree. Dude, that's so cool. What a game. This thing is massive. You gotta get into these, these like... You get into that, like, when you're driving, when you get into the mode where you kind of, like... Not necessarily zone out, but like time seems to speed by, you know what I mean? And like you, you cover way more distance than you're expecting just because your your brain kind of, you know, knows what to do. I feel like I, I get that effect in this game a lot. Like I, I, it doesn't feel like we've really been traversing this, this part of the map that much, but look at all the ground that we've covered. We came in over here and we've gone all the way through here and it's just, it's, it's been a chill, fun drive, you know what I mean? Like I've, I've definitely enjoyed it so far. We're just gonna gonna keep on doing it. So far, the the map has been pretty good to us. Not gonna lie, nothing nothing too crazy been thrown our way. Just kind of doing our thing and uh, enjoying our time here in Russia. All right. Gonna be coming up through here. I think we should have a split in the road at some point. And that's where we're. Is this it right here? Yeah, that's that's where we're probably gonna end up splitting off a bit so let me see what we've got going on we definitely want to we want to go up here we want to grab this upgrade Ooh, that's that's in by a lake that could get nasty we're probably going to want to go to here go up through here and then go get it and then we might hmm we might want to drive our azov up to the tower i don't we actually probably want to drive our azov through there yeah we're, we're gonna take we're gonna take the, the the both of them in through here and then we'll let the uh, we'll let the yard do all the heavy lifting for us Come on, baby We've got the turning radius of a uh, b52 bomber bro this thing is is not very agile on her feet but that's all right I love big mama love what she does for us so yeah, we're gonna come through here. We'll probably grab that upgrade part and then shoot over to the tower with the with the yard by itself, the six by six. Oof. Some fairly deep mud here and some hard corners, but no match. Just able to keep on keep it on. Baby. that instrument again bro I love that thing Bye, da, da, da. love love it anyway here we go we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's let's release our tow let's stop our engine let's change our truck we are gonna go ahead and uh, I say we ooh, not recover oh my goodness I hate when I do that we want to refuel the other R word so we're gonna be going from the Azov to the Yar let's go ahead and fill her up all the way give her a full tank of gas that's exactly why we brought this uh, Brought this Azov along, and now we're gonna go off into the boonies. We're gonna grab our upgrade part. We're gonna grab, uh, grab the watch top. Oh, this is nasty. Let's be careful here, Trev. Don't end up, don't end up going over. Look at that. I would have preferred like a, a lift kit or something, but that's cool. What do you guys think? Do we, do we risk it for the biscuit and just try to go right through? I'm, I'm, I'm savage, bro. I'm going for it. We're gonna see if we can just go right through the trees here, kinda, kinda do our own thing. Oh, this is, I mean, the, the good news is when you do stuff like this, there's there's plenty of winch points to use. We are really getting stuck. Also, when you go in one way, usually you could go back out the way you came. So if we get in trouble, we just have to, to reverse perfectly through all this and, and pretend like it didn't happen. Oh man, okay. Um, we kind of got off on a bit of a tangent here, but we're fine. If we get to our left, we're going to be able to get to a main road. You guys think we can, can swing through here? I don't think we're going to make that. We could definitely go through here. Let's see if we can squeeze. 
this? Oh lord. There's the road out there. Bang a right, Trev. Bang a right. Bang a right. We're gonna be able to clear this tree. Nope, not quite. We're fine. We should have fixed it up. I mean, we've got parts on us, but we should have fixed it up with the, the Azov parts. But look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, this thing is just... This is incredible. Making my way downtown, driving slow. I got six wheels and you don't. Da -na 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 Found myself a new watchtower. Oh, that's a stump. Okay. <clears throat> enough of the singing, enough of the, the, the road trip songs here, Trev. Okay, so that's gonna open that up. Let's check for upgrade parts. Looks like we've got an upgrade part up here, so our next job is gonna be to come down through here. We'll go to here. I mean, we'll probably go to here and play it a little bit safer to grab this. Then we can bang a left onto that road and that should take us up there. I'm thinking we just do that. We can fast travel back to our Azov and she should be able to make it through here if we end up needing her. But um, looking, looking pretty good. All right, let's go for it. Let's back out of here. Shoot. So many little tree stumps, dude. Can hardly, hardly see where we're going. We're gonna be fine. Got a little, little route through these trees. Yes, sir. There it is. All right. Once we get on the dirt roads, we should probably start disengaging all-wheel drive. I feel like... I feel like stuff like this, it should be able to... I mean, six six tires, bro. We've got a lot of surface area on the ground. We should be able to make it through that with no issue. So we're pushing about four, four to five liters a minute. All-wheel drive takes us up to, to seven to eight. So, yeah, I, I, think, I think if we go... I don't even, what is what is this? Four wheel drive now? I, I don't I don't know which which wheels are powered. Probably just the back ones. But this will this will help save a little bit of gas mileage for us. This thing's capable even without running power to all the wheels here. So yeah, do we want to? Uh, we probably we probably want to cut through and let's let's play this safe. We're gonna be just fine. Just kind of skirt the outside. Don't want to get stuck down in the nasties. I'm gonna throw all-wheel drive on here, try to keep our momentum up. Let's get through. Kind of an unfortunate spot for a tree game. Get through there. Come on! Shoot. If we angle this a little bit better, maybe. There it is. Whew. We made it. Now we're gonna wanna Ooh, this is this is kind of some nasty area. I'm not gonna lie, but hey, she's handling it. Look at her just tiptoeing through the tulips, baby So now we're gonna want to want to hang a right through here. Oh, we want to hang a hard right Oof. Oof. The upgrades out there. I think honestly, I, I don't think we go through the trees. I think that's a little bit too crowded I think we're gonna be able to make it through the water There's enough trees that we should be able to kind of you know Tarzan ourselves with the winch if we need it Peter Parker it, tree to tree. But yeah, dude, we, we, can, we can handle this. Let's try putting this thing in low. We don't want to spin those tires. We just want to slowly and methodically move through the willows here. And we're going to make our way to our upgrade. Looking good. There we go. Upgrade's on the other side of the car, so let's grab that. And then it's going to be time to go hit our last observation point. Bam. Got it. Tune Custom. The Don 71. Dude, there's so many vehicles that I, I've never even heard of. I've never even seen. It's crazy what this, this game has to offer. Here we go. We can probably put this back in auto. And we are off. So now we're gonna be looking to uh gonna be looking to get to this 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 tower. I'm thinking probably up there and then probably to the left. I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. This is nasty business. We were talking about how we didn't really see any issues so far. Trying to trying to truck through this stuff is going to be a nightmare if we end up having to do that. But when you've got an all-wheel drive, six-wheeled scout, makes it look like like light work, baby. Gonna try to be as smart as possible through here. This is dude. This is nasty, and we are just tearing through. We might want to go into low. I feel like we are spinning the tires a bit. So let's try to be as methodical as we can but uh, bam just like that we're out of it back into auto and back into the wilderness we go so we're, we're burning a decent amount of fuel here we're gonna be all right though got 76 liters left plus whatever's 
up on top. I'm actually curious. What do we what do we have on top? 120. Wow, a full tank of gas plus some. That's that's pretty nice. I didn't I didn't realize it was that much. See, really, this thing's not too bad. We, we burn through a tank of gas, but we also get an entire second tank ready to go. I think you could take this thing places. I'm 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 convinced this is our new best scout vehicle. Gotta be some sort of a trail through here. We're just gonna go for it, baby. Come on. Drop it down. What in the world did we just hit? Oh, there's a tree there. Yep, that, that'll do. That'll do it. Can't see anything from the exterior view. Oh, lordy. Okay. Gonna have to do a little, little three-point turn here. Come on. Come on. Give me a witch to connect to. There it is. We're through. Dude. This thing's spoiling me. Like, we, we could do do anything and go anywhere we want and just not even have to think about it. Look at that. That's going to be our final uh, our final watchtower point. And it looks like that's it for the upgrades. Well, guys, that was fun. A new part of the map has been unlocked. Eventually, we're going to have to get back there and, uh, and put in some work. But uh, right now, we are back here at the Drowned Lands. And uh, we're going to try to recover this vehicle here. This is a side mission. This is called Lost in the Rocks. And it's a... Uh, it's a, 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 I'm not even sure what, the, a TUS 166, I guess. So we're, we're going to try to pick this thing up and, and, and bring it back. I think if we deliver it to the repair station, they're going to give us some cash, some XP, and a TUS to keep for ourselves. So uh, I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll see how this works. Looks like we want to kind of tow this thing out and up to the right, come around this way, and that's going to take it straight to the repair station. So sounds good to me. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be too hard. I mean, this is kind of a kind of a sketchy area, but we're just gonna try our best. I'm wondering, rather than towing it along, hold on a second, I've got an idea. Let me throw this thing in low. Rather than towing it along this really sketchy, you know, crazy banked hill of mud, we're gonna try to back it out a bit, and we might be able to just tow it along these rocks here. Let's get around behind this thing. We're gonna back it up and then move forward. Hopefully we're gonna be able to be able to make something happen here. So we're gonna get behind it to be able to back it up. My goodness, thing is uh, is not doing us any favors. There it is. All right, got our winch attached. It's, it's out of fuel, so it's not gonna be able to help us at all. But I think, I mean, we we could refuel it. I also think we might we might be fine without it. We're we're gonna be okay here. Get up here. There it is. All right. Got it. I'm going to throw our parking brake on. Let's go ahead and uh, let's attach a winch to our backside. Go ahead and throw that on its, uh, on its front side. Just like so. You guys think we're going to be able to be able to get it out of here? We got our parking brake on. Probably want to take that off. Oh, yeah. We're going to be able to tow this thing on out of here. Dude, look how small it is compared to us. I'm going to go ahead and uh, can we can we refuel? I'm gonna say let's give let's let's give from our roof rack to the Tuz, give it a full tank of gas. That way it can kind of help uh, help pull us here. Let's reconnect the winch. Oh, the engine's broken. Now let's go for a uh, let's go for a little a little repair here. We're gonna go from our roof rack to the Tuz, and we fix the whole thing up. Start your engine, little buddy. Let's get you in close and uh, let's let's go for a ride together. Here we go. Okay, so we want to go out and we want to take a right right here. Feel like this is our our younger brother or something you know what i mean like it's just kind of a along the ride not really sure what's happening not really much of a uh, much of a help but he's he's trying and we got to respect that i don't know being so small i feel like this could be a decent scout vehicle if you're able to lift it up put a nice engine in it that sort of thing might be able to get into some hard to reach places i don't really foresee it replacing our uh our yar anytime soon but uh, may as well may as well cop it, man. End of the day, we can just kind of sell it, make a little bit of money off of it, and at least we we've said that we've unlocked. Oh shoot, we just landed on top of it right there. Okay, so we're gonna go out. We're gonna take a left. We're gonna go around to the right, and that should be an easy mission complete. I just figure we could do at least one mission in here. Eventually, we're definitely going to go back to the quarry. We're going to knock out some missions. I mean, we, we honestly have quite a few missions we could do here in the Drowned Lands as well. 
Uh, I know there are some missions in the quarry that if you do those, you get the ability to build a, uh, a garage in the, the last Russian map. I was taking a look at those earlier, so we'll, we'll have to check those out. We'll build a garage, you know, get all the, the requirements and, and materials and stuff out there. But um, this episode was more meant to just kind of explore, and that's exactly what we did. This thing is a beast. Welcome addition to the family. I think it's some of the best money we've ever spent. 30k for this thing. More around 50k after all the upgrades. But it, it absolutely... Absolutely made light work of all of our... Our objectives today. I think we're going to want to uh, to go into low here. Stop spraying so much mud. We completely blasted this thing, bro. Absolutely covered in mud. That's alright, we're bringing it to the service area, the repair station, and we've already repaired it. We've already done their job for them. So I think at the end of the day, they're just gonna have to be happy with whatever they get. Go ahead and come back around here. Into the repair station we go. Pretty nasty area over here, dude. Very, uh, very muddy. Very slick. Go ahead and pull up top here. Pull up onto the uh, the repair station and look at that, my friends. That is going to be a job well done. So uh, we can go ahead and let's change trucks into our Tuz. Can kind of check this thing out a little bit. Interesting. Not not going to be the most capable thing ever, but I'm I'm down to check it out. You know, it's it's a cute little Russian vehicle, I guess. I'm actually not gonna check. It. I'm not gonna check it out. We're gonna take it back here. We're gonna go into our truck storage. We're gonna we're gonna sell this thing. Sixteen thousand dollars. I mean, that's that's a decent return for an easy mission. Come back to this. Let's recover it back, and I'm gonna call that an episode. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. We're gonna get back into the workforce, back working on some missions and stuff. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Catch you all later. Peace out.